Hi, my name is Jimmy Thor, and this is John News. It is a beautiful day in Old Zealand, Narnia, and I hope you are having a great day. Today, we all are devastated from the turning of events that unraveled in Hogwarts late last night. Bob Hydro is live at the scene with the victim of the tsunami, whose best friend's life was tragically taken by the tsunami. Now to you, Bob. Thanks, Jimmy. So as you can see, I am at the scene of a devastated neighborhood after a tsunami hit the city of Hogwarts late last night. I'm here with the survivor, Shmuel, of the tsunami last night. So, Mr. Shmuel, what was it like going through such a devastating event at that time of night? It must have been very frightening for you that late at night. It was truly terrifying. I thought my life was coming to an end, but sadly, the tsunami took my best friend, Bruno. It was really horrifying, but he saved my life by helping me onto my, onto my roof, but he was swept away in the surging waters. Words cannot describe the amount of physical and emotional stress I was put under through the very tragic for me. There will always be a hole in my heart for my dear friend Bruno, but at last he's in a better place now and not in pain. I just wish I could have helped him on the roof instead of me instead of him helping me. I think I speak for the whole country when I say that what Bruno did for Shmuel touched the hearts of all of us. I just can't imagine how much that would hurt me physically and mentally. Hold on one minute. I have just found out that the president has issued a state of emergency in Hogwarts, which should help some of these people that have been affected by the tsunami. Well, Mr. Shmuel, thank you for letting us interview you, and I hope things get better for you. Thank you, Bob. This neighborhood will forever remember the tsunami, but the important thing is that they will make a full recovery from this. Well, it's truly devastating, but Bruno's funeral will be held at Ringer's Funeral Home at 6 o'clock p.m. In other news, here is Olivia Jackson with your weather report. Today in Old Zealand, it looks like it will be 83 degrees sunny and partly cloudy with a 70% chance of rain. On Tuesday, it will be 85 degrees and sunny with 5 mile per hour winds. Wednesday, it will be 77 degrees and cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Thursday will be 70 degrees, partly cloudy with a 90% chance of rain and thunderstorms. And Friday will be 90 degrees and very sunny. As you can see here, the subtropical jet stream is strong throughout this week, so if you're going to fly somewhere, this would be the week to do it with this wonderful weather. This week, there will be a warm front coming through from the south, and now back to you, Jimmy. I have just received some breaking news from Oak Lake, Narnia. We have reports of a massive sinkhole that has formed right outside of the city. We actually have Bob Hydro at the scene of the sinkhole that had just re recently happened. Now on to you, Bob. Thank you, Jimmy. And as you can see right behind me here in Oak Lake is a massive sinkhole in the middle of the road. I'm here with two siblings that witnessed the sinkhole open up as they were driving home from school. How would you describe the feeling as you watched the road collapse in front of you? All I was thinking about was that we were about to get into a crash. I closed my eyes away from the impact. But luckily, my sister stopped in time. But I was forced forward from her speech to slamming on the brakes, hit my head on the dashboard because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Nothing was there to stop me from hitting the dashboard. As I saw the road start to crumble in front of me, so I slammed on brakes and, s and the sudden stop made my head hit the steering wheel. But the worst injury I got was just a headache and I could barely see for a few seconds. But I looked over and saw Norbit looking at me with a lot of terror in his eye. But I assured him everything was fine. I urge all of you people watching to watch out for sinkholes and please wear your seatbelts. All right, folks, you heard her. Be very careful and please wear your seatbelt. It only takes you a few extra seconds to buckle up before something tragic happens to you. Now back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Bob. Please be safe out there and make sure you try to stay out of the heat and use plenty of sunscreen. Have a great day, people of Narnia, and this is John News.